Hey guys, it's Tiffany from supereasymath.com and today we are going to solve this problem. 3a plus 19 equals 43. So right now what we want to do when we're solving an equation that has a single variable like this a, what we want to remember is our goal is to put the a on one side of the equal sign by itself. We want everything else on the opposite side of the equal sign. Right now over here with the a we have a 3, we have a plus 19, we need to get all that out the way, okay? So right now I see a plus 19 and I know I need to get rid of it and the way you get rid of things when you're dealing with an equation is using inverse operations that means the opposite operation so right now because we have a plus 19 we want to do a minus 19 and you have to do it to both sides the equal to keep my equation balanced whatever I do on the left side I have to do on the right side so I cancel this out it ends up balancing out the zero and then I'm gonna bring down everything that I didn't do something with and I'm gonna calculate what I need to calculate so right here I have 3a which just gets brought down because I didn't do anything else with it. Then the 19s cancel out because I didn't have to do anything there. Then the equal sign, I just bring it down. And then I have the problem 43 minus 19, 24. So you write 24. Now I have a three and an A. I need to get rid of that three because remember my goal is to get the A by itself. The way the three and the A are connected right now is multiplication. Well, the opposite of multiplication is division and I want to divide by three. And remember, whatever you do on one side, you have to do the other side also. So you have to divide by three over here as well. So now the threes cancel out. Remember when you undo an operation, when you do the inverse operation, it gets rid of like the number part and then the rest will still be left. So over here, we still have the A and then that equals whatever 24 divided by three is and that's eight. So A equals eight. The way you would solve this is by plugging A in and you would realize you would get the correct answer. So you can actually check yourself right here, which is great. So now I'm going to rewrite the problem, but instead of writing A, I'm going to write 8 and then plus 19 equals 43. So when I'm checking, now I literally just solve what's over here on the left and it should be 43 and it should be 43 equals 43 at the end. If it's not, then something's wrong. Either you messed up when you were originally solving or you're messing up right now while you're checking your answer. So 3 times 8 is 24 and 24 plus 19 does equal 43 so we did it correctly now let's take a sneak peek at tomorrow's math problem of the day and the problem is a word problem it says a family buys eight pounds of meat for 32 dollars what is the cost of the meat per pound go ahead and try to answer that problem on your own and then come back tomorrow and see how i solve it and as always don't forget if you need a live math tutor who you can talk to and ask all the questions you want head over to supereasymath.com and we'll pair you up with a tutor who's best fit for you